What's up, all you old souls? It's Brad. We're in the garage today. We need to do some filming. I've got some super exciting stuff that we need to install on the Del Sol front bumper. Um, I've been looking for this for a super long time. Finally found a set. Let me show you guys what I found. Boom. I found a pair of lower 93-95 fog lights from Japan. Super, hella, amazingly, however I can describe it, excited about those guys. They are in really good shape too. All right, so you guys are probably thinking like, where do those go? Well, they're supposed to go right in this area here. Um, but how do we get those in there? Cause I don't understand. Like there's no template, there's no nothing. Um, I don't know. Or do I? All right, so those crazy Honda engineers knew what they were doing. If you look at the back of your bumper, that's spinning like crazy right now, there are a little outline. I, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can kind of see it. There's a little outline right here, and that is where you're supposed to cut those guys out of. Genius. Like, thank God they did that, because I would not know how to do this otherwise. So there's one on each side. Um, it's so sunny out here. You can kind of see it right here. And then there's this one as well, right here. So, that's what we're gonna do today. All right guys, so these are pretty rare little uh, fog lights. Uh, they come in three pieces here. You've got the fog light bracket. You've got the OEM Stanley light itself. Um, and then you've got this little outside black rubber piece that makes it look nice on the outside. Um, but these guys only came on the 93, 95 bumpers and then the um, 96, 97 bumpers got the Rayburg circle little uh, fog lights for their bumper. Um, so that was a little bit of history behind those. The U.S. never got these, um, strictly JDM and maybe Euro, um, probably Australia and wherever else the U.S. didn't get any cool stuff, but yeah, that's kind of what that is. So first thing we need to do, guys, is we need to cut this hole here for each side. So I'm going to get all my tools out and we're going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> So what I'm going to use here is my little cheap Harbor Freight um, Dremel knockoff with these little super tiny little cutting discs. So this isn't like so thick that I don't think I'll have any issues, but uh, that's what I'm going to use. So we'll get that all hooked up. <laughs> So, uh, that Harbor Freight thing, it fucking sucks. That thing blows. Like, totally worthless. Um, so, my father-in-law lives next door. Let's go see what we can find over in his garage over here. Um, that's going to take me forever. I don't have that kind of time. So, he's got a bunch of sh stuff, though. I'm also having a beer already. Just gonna start drinking today because I don't got shit to do. Um, okay, let's find, let's find where his stuff is at. Um, I bet it's over here. Stop, stop. Oh, his dogs are so annoying. Ugh. All right. Here's some good stuff. 
I got an angle grinder. Rousey, stop! A drill. Nope. That's not gonna work. He had one other, like, drill kind of thing. Damn it. I'm striking out today, guys. So I could drill a hole in the middle of that first, maybe. Like, I could use some of these and drill a hole in the middle first and then cut, like, out to each corner. That might work. Hmm. I'll think about that. I like that idea, actually. All right, guys, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this, we're gonna drill it through the middle first, and then I'm gonna use the Harbor Freight tool to go just to the outsides and cut out that circle. Nice. I think it's gonna work, but I have no idea. So let's go find out. Word perfect. Check that out. All right, so I still don't know if this little guy is gonna like cut through this hole. Cause like, check out how, I mean, that's pretty thick. And these little discs are just, I mean, they're super flimsy. But that's what you get for buying a Harbor Freight hunk of junk thing that, I mean, kind of works. I don't know. I've got a real Dremel thing, but I haven't went and bought a battery for it. I just need to go buy a battery, and that'll be that, so. I don't know. The U.S. women are winning. Perfect. Thank you. They are the best in the world. Sorry, everybody. Um, go USA. <laughs> thing sucks. This is going to take me forever. Um, I don't know. It's all I got, though. Um, I might go rummage around the father-in-law's garage some more. See if he's got anything else. But, um, all right. Well, that's not fucking working. Um, I got to go get another beer. It's just a beer kind of day, guys. Um, oh man, the air conditioner feels good. All right, let's let's get in here. There it is. B is B is B is B is. You guys want to say hi to the chameleon really quick? Hello. Hi. What are you doing? Huh? Hi, how's it going? You're such a grumpy looking, such a grumpy looking lizard. Me, 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 me. That's a nice tail. Okay, see ya. She's nice. She's a nice chameleon. She's like three years old. Say hi to Mabel. Hi, Mabel. That's a good girl. All right, so I'm shit out of luck, I think, with, um,. I'm just going to have to use the Harbor Freight Dremel. I mean, I've got a bunch of weird stuff here. Like, I don't know if I can use... I've got some heavy-duty scissors that maybe I can cut it out with. Um, see, here's my actual 
Dremel. I just don't know where the battery is. God damn it. This is a hot mess vlog. It's a hot mess vlog, guys. Is that thing recording? Yeah, it's recording. I don't know. I don't think this is gonna work either, guys. I mean, maybe it will. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta figure something out here. Okay, guys, so that's Owen's chair that I'm gonna sit in here. It's a real nice chair. I actually, I actually kind of fit just because I'm little though. But, so this is what I'm actually gonna end up using. Just like a saw, just like a hand saw. And look, like it actually, like awesome. So I was trying to do all this like new age, high tech stuff. Nope, this saw blade, it's where it's at. That's what I'm gonna use. So I don't know, after all that, I'm just gonna use a saw, so go figure. But you guys should be able to use anything. A Dremel, a hacksaw, um, even like a really sharp like exacto knife or box cutter should be able to cut through this but i'm just such a noob that i don't have any of this stuff so this is what i got um i'm gonna set the camera down we're gonna cut the rest of this out and we're gonna try and fit one of these fog lights in so let's do that <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my drill and I'm just going to smooth all this out so it's not so rough. But yeah, I mean, that's it. I got it in there. Um, let me show you guys the outside here. Yeah, that's exactly where those fog lights go. So, all right. So I'm going to use this little wire drill brush thingy um whatever it is but that's what i'm going to use just to clean that up um but what's awesome is there's a little groove inside here which should cover all of it up so it, so like i don't have to make it look super awesome but i just want to clean it up just <laughs> I can't get it out. Okay. So, perfect fit. That is so legit. I mean, it can't get any easier. Um, you literally cut the circle out from the backside, and these things fit right in. Like, genius on the part of Honda. Good job. It couldn't be any easier. I'm going to throw everything together there. But that's how you do it, guys. I mean, it's like as easy as can be. Um, let me show you on the other side here real quick. So, when you go to mount these in here, there are uh, three screw spots. And literally, all you do is boom, boom, boom. <laughs> for today though guys fog light housings are in um we're not going to install them today we're going to wait until we get this whole thing kind of painted but they're in not too shabby if you ask me 
Let me adjust the camera lens here real quick. Yeah. They are in. Nice. I really like it. Next couple vlogs are going to be like one more sanding coat of 320 grit and then we're going to be ready to prime and maybe one more sanding video and then we're going to paint guys. We're finally going to paint. I can't believe it. Like we're getting so close. So um, we're almost there. Everything is looking pretty good. Um, yeah. I don't know, but I'll check you guys on Instagram. I'll see you guys on Reddit. Get on oldsouls.com. Get on the forum. The forum is hella popping. Um, everything to do with old souls. I mean, I really like where everything's going. So you guys have been awesome. You guys have been supporting us from the get go. I really want you all to get on the forum. That's where it's going to be at going forward. And uh, I'll see you guys all there. All right. Till the next time. Peace.